Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Carlos here again and I'm doing another video. This is going to be an update on the unturned video that I did before. Um, so yeah, let's get, just get things started. Um, first of all, make sure you have unturned installed on uh, Steam. Um, now what you want to do after that is um, look for unturned, right click it, go to properties. Um, this is uh, for anyone who wants to know how to get 3.0 to begin with. Uh, go to betas and then make sure this is in. Uh, don't click none, but click the other option. And you're going to type in Operation Maple Leaf. And then, it'll, and then you check code and then you should be in the preview. Um, yeah, but um, if in, in order to host a server and have other people join, um, you're going to right click it. Go to properties, local files, and then you're going to go to browse local files. It'll open this window. And what you're going to do is the unturned uh, exe file, you're going to create a shortcut. I already made a shortcut right here. You're going to rename the shortcut to unturned space uh, a dash space server. And then you're going to copy that and then paste it onto your desktop. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go back into this, uh, back into the local files. Um, you're going to click on the server, on the one that, on the server, a shortcut that's in here. You're going to go to properties. And normally where it says target, it would end about here where it says exe and then the two, um, the two, um, the two apostrophes. Um, what you're going to do is after those, you're going to press space and then you're going to type in space and then you're going to type in no graphics uh, all together, no, not separated. Then you're going to space, you're going to press space again and then type in batch mode and then you're going to press space one more time and you're going to type in plus secure server slash um, and then the name of your server you can make it anything it'll go over here and then that's it that's all you type in um, and then you'll press OK and then what you're going to do is you're going to um, you're going to double click this it'll launch a window It'll pretty much be a black screen, and you'll see like this little um, this little uh, window. I'm not sure if you guys can see it right now. Um, and you're gonna get this little yeah this little black uh, rectangle. Um, you're, all you're going to do is type in shut down. There's not gonna be any spaces. Just type in shut down all together, like all um, no spaces in between. And then it'll go off by itself. And after that, what you're going to do, and like you're almost done, is um, you're going to open it up. No, you're going to, uh, sorry, you're going to uh, go to this folder that says servers. The name of your server will be there. Click it. And then you're going to click the server folder in that. And then where it says commands, you're going to double click that. And all you're going to need, all you need to do here, if you want, I'll put a link below to the rest of the commands that you can put in here. All you're going to do is type in map space, uh, whatever the name of the map is. Make sure it's exactly the way it's spelled in the game. Otherwise, you'll get problems. And under that, you'll type in port space, and then uh, make sure it's like five numbers. I I put two five four four four, but I think it can be anything. And then put a password. Um, Password for mine is one two three. Obviously, I'm going to change that after this video, but you know, um, yeah. So password space one two three, and then you'll have them all like this. Exit, and then it, it, like make sure you save it. Um, don't mess with anything else. Um, and after that, you're gonna go back to this uh, screen, and you're going to. Well, now everything will almost be ready. Uh, what you're gonna what you're gonna do is uh, double click the unturned server, 
and you'll see that black window again and it should say successfully set map to whatever you put successfully set port to whatever numbers and successfully set password to whatever it is um leave that open um just have it in the background um and what you're going to do you're going to launch the game and um yeah sorry i had to I had to cut to this, um, I had to do some stuff in between. Um, but yeah, you're gonna launch the game, and then you're gonna go to play, and then connect. Um, where, where you need to put in the port, you'll put in whatever numbers you put in the command list. You'll put that as the port, and then for password, you know, you'll put your password that you put in the commands list. Now for the IP, you're going to, let me just show this really, you're going to go to, uh, I'm gonna click the Windows button on the bottom left. So, and then you're gonna type in CMD. You'll get this programs. You'll right click it and then press run as run as administrator. Uh, press yes. And then you're gonna do IP config. And you're gonna get a, you're pretty much gonna get a big list of numbers and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna show um, everything because there's I don't want I don't want to get hacked or anything but um, look for the one that says IPv4 address and it'll probably start with like 192 or whatever um, you're gonna type that into you're gonna type that into the IP um, space and then you'll press connect and it should work. Uh, mine's is loading right now. It'll say loading, the, you know, the map on a VAC server, and you're in unturned now. Now, if you want your friends to join, all you need to do, I'll have the link to this website below. Um, you'll go to this website. I have it as a tab over here, but I don't feel like showing the numbers. Um, you'll go to the, I'll put the link below for this web, for this website. It's like it's called IP Chicken. Um, it'll show you the public uh, IP address uh, for your server, and that's the IP address that you'll give to your friends. Um, and that's the IP address that they will use to connect to your server. Um, and everything should work after that. Um, if if you give them I'm not sure what will happen if you give them your IPv4 um, IP address, but I recommend just going to IP Chicken, whatever your public IP address is, give that to them because it'll work. Um, and then give them the password and um, the port, um, and it should it should work. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will provide all the links below. Um, and uh, yeah, have uh, fun playing with your friends and all that because this game is uh, pretty fun. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video.